it takes the moon approximately 28 days to go through all of its phases. In part A, write a function, p of t, that expresses the visible percentage of the moon as a function of time. Draw the graph. In the diagram, write the moon's visible percentage for each phase. The moon cycle begins with a visibility of zero. Halfway through the cycle, it reaches a maximum visibility of one. The visibility then returns to zero. The goal is to create a function with the form y equals a cos b theta minus c plus d. We need to determine the a, b, c, and d parameters. We'll begin by finding the amplitude. The minimum of the graph is 0, and the maximum is 1. This gives us a equals negative 0 0.50. Make sure you remember to include a negative with the function since the cosine shape is upside down. Create a box to store the graph data. Now we'll find the b parameter. Use the formula b equals 2 pi over p. The period is 28. Plug this in for p. This reduces to pi over 14. There is no phase shift, so c equals 0. Now we'll find the vertical displacement. The minimum of the graph is 0, and the maximum is 1. This gives us d equals 0 0.50. The function is p of t equals negative 0 0.50 cos of pi over 14 t plus 0 0.50. Now we'll move on to part b. In one cycle, for how many days is 60% or more of the moon's surface visible? Bring up the function and its graph. Draw the line y equals 0 0.60. The distance between the points of intersection is the number of days where more than 60% of the moon is visible. Using a graphing calculator, graph y1 equals negative 0 0.50 cos of pi over 14 t plus 0 0.50, and y2 equals 0 0.60. Use the intersect feature to get 7.90 and 20.10 days. Subtract the two values to get 12.20 days. Sixty percent or more of the moon's surface is visible for approximately 12 days each cycle.